Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it's the Box John Show. No, it's not a show. I don't have a show. I'm not famous enough to have a show. This is uh, another Virtual Box environment video. Um, Virtual Box is slowly becoming my virtualizing software of choice because it's free, it's easy to manage, and it's. I don't want to say it's lightweight, but it runs pretty smoothly so far on my computer, so it's what I use. Um, feel free to leave me some comments, some suggestions on some other virtual virtualizing software out there. Um, my favorite used to be VMware, but since I've been using VirtualBox now, it's it's becoming a little bit easier to use. Um, okay, so if you haven't guessed it already, this looks a little bit like Android. It's called Android Live. Okay. Let me see if I can find the file, the actual ISO file, what it's called. Yeah, it's called Live Android. This is version 0 0.3. Um, I'm actually running this on, like I said, VirtualBox. There is a, well, there's supposed to be a mouse somewhere. Here we go. A little triangle mouse. And f from my testing so far, all the features work just like you normally would on the platform. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm recording a little bit under the where you would see the bar where your messages are, but if I pull this down here, you can see the, lot of the bottom half of that. That's a f uh, fail on my part that I didn't get the recording size the right way. Not a big deal. Um, the Google search bar works. The workspaces work. As you can see, I'm going back and forth here with no problem, and I'm doing that with my arrow keys on my keyboard. I can also do it if I hold down the... Whoa! Now this is something new. I didn't know this. Hold on a second here. It's running a bit slow. It is an alpha version, I believe. Um, Let's go to the wallpapers folder. See if we have a choice of different wallpapers. Let's go to the wallpaper gallery. And yes, we do have choices for different wallpapers. Let's see what we got here for Androids. We got. Let's go with. Uh, not very many. Good wallpapers. Oh well. Let's go with the jellyfish. Let's jellyfish it up. That's what I say. Jellyfish it up. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to hold this down again. We're going to go to widgets. Let's see what kind of widgets we can get. There's clock, music, picture frame, and search. Let's do the calendar. Oh crap. You guys just ruined my video. Thanks a lot, guys. Decline. Anyways, that was a bit embarrassing. Let's go back to the video here. And what we're going to choose again? We're going to choose calendar. All right. It just brought back a bunch of memories from one of my favorite tech videos ever. Uh, let's see here. By the way, the tech video is a uh, web dude versus sales guy. I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be. I'm guessing this is the calendar. Anyway, that's pretty much it. It's it's Android Live again, and just to show you that it's a working copy and not some bullshit hack. I'm gonna do a Google search. Let's do a Google search for Bob. Hit enter. Here's the browser environment. And now I'm going to show you the coolest thing. Here's our website about Bob, right? Okay. If we want to zoom, it works just like the zoom on the phone. Zoom in. You can zoom in zoom out. Okay. 
So yeah. And then I think if we I already did that. Let's try. A different web page. Let's do Bank of Baroda. Whatever the hell that is. Alright. Let me select this. Type. That's my keyword. Don't don't hack my account and back up Baroto, okay? Anyways. As you can see here, zoom out. And this is the coolest thing ever here. There you go. It zooms back in. Now obviously the software on the phone doesn't run this slow. This is just a preview of what it would look like in a live situation. Um, hopefully Google takes some good ideas from the Android uh, software and implements it into their operating system for home use. And hopefully they make a very rich environment to where I want to use it on my home computer and not only on a netbook. Hint, hint, Google. Listen to your users. Anyways, um, that's the end of the video. I mean, it's it's pretty much self-explanatory. You can Google search for this again. It's it's live Android. It'd be pretty neat. I wouldn't install it on a uh, on a hard disk, but playing with it in a virtual environment is pretty neat. I think there's also like some dev tools and stuff. Um, there's games on here. Here's some. Um, a racing game. Hit OK. Race. And press Q to accelerate. So I'm going to press Q. And as you can see, I'm going nuts here. And I suck at this game. Anyways, like I said, that's that's the, that's pretty much the end of the video. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I'm kind of running out of ideas for videos, so uh, if it's within my means of screencasting it for you, I will. Box John signing out. Bye bye.